Hi, I'm Liz, and I'm from Morris, Tucky. Anybody from Martinsville? That's what we call it down there. I used to live $500,000 south of Geist Reservoir, but I wanted my kids to grow up more resourceful, and that's where I headed, down to Martinsville. Well, you know what? I found out my neighbors were quite resourceful, especially this one named Mo. I was kind of falling on hard times and I didn't know what I was going to do because I had to put some meals on the table. So I headed down to the White River to do some fishing and it was a failure. Nothing, not a bite. But Mo was going by with a pickup bed full of fish iced down. Well, while they were kind of commerging his spirit, I just didn't know if I should take the risk, but I was desperate. So I hopped in his van, in his truck one day, and headed down to the Dingle Bar sandbar where they did fish a lot. You put your nose of your truck right in the river and sat in the cab to do the fishing. I thought, this is really unusual. And I was like, hmm, I need to ask a couple questions. Well, do you have a special lure? Don't rightly know, he said. Well, do you know where the school of fish is hanging out? Don't rightly know, he said. Well, do you mind me asking all these questions? Nope. Because if you didn't ask questions, I wouldn't teach you nothing. Well, then I got advice. Said, question, do you know what the Matterhorn was? Well, of course I know what the Matterhorn is. It's a big mountain in Switzerland. Looked at me. No, right there. Just hit the horn if it matters, woman. <laughs> and that's when I got a little frightened. But I watched the whole process, hook, line, and sinker. And the hook was something else that he was putting on. And I looked out at the car, and I was like, what in the world? And I said, Mo, what are you putting on that? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. What are you saying? <laughs> All of a sudden, Mo spit on the ground and said, you have to keep the worms warm. Well, now I knew the secret for the bait and the hook, and he had this giant tow truck reversed around on the front bumper with a giant wrench and steel wire. Put that bait, basted it in some Jack Daniels. I'm not sure the Jack Daniels were him or the worms, so I'm not sure I can share that secret. So there they were, and he would hit the remote, it would start winching in, and he'd get back in the cab with me, hit reverse, looking backwards, and as soon as that fish caught on, started flopping through the water towards us, it flipped over the cab, landed in the ice bucket, the giant bed of the truck in the back. How awesome it was, you know? After all that back and forth motion, I was kind of queasy and seasick. My head and my stomach were reeling. That's a fish pun. If you come up with a better one, you let me minnow, okay? You let me know? Okay, and there, at that moment, I thought, wow, a funeral is going overhead, but our truck is full. How sad that is. And Mo took a hat off to pay respect. And I found out Mo was a girl. And she said, when I asked, hey, that was really nice. That was a nice way to show compassion. Yeah. Well, I've been down here for about 38 years every day at the White River fishing. I thought it was the right thing to do. Especially since I had been married to him for 40 years.